In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a calculator to your WordPress website. The calculator can calculate whatever you like, really. And in fact, I've discovered that there's quite a lot of interest in calculators across multiple niches or niches, depending on how you like to say it. So, for example, I recently created one for the website that I gave away, airfresher.com, which was all about air purifiers created a calculator for that site that calculated the energy usage of an air purifier. I've also discovered that there are people looking for calculators in my other niches. So for example, wheelbarrows, people are looking for calculators. And also pressure washers, people are looking for calculators. So to me, this looks like a great opportunity, an opportunity to create some fantastic content because by providing a tool like a calculator, you're offering a lot of value, much more than just words and pictures. It's an actual tool that people can use and they can keep coming back and using it over and over again. They're likely to share it, they're likely to link to it. So it's gonna have a lot of impact on your site in a positive way. So I recommend that you go back through your keyword lists or indeed do some keyword research right now and have a look. Are people searching for a calculator in your niche? So today I'm gonna to be creating a calculator for my website DartPix, which is in the darts niche. Because again, I did some keyword research and I discovered that people are looking for a darts average calculator. So that's what we're gonna be creating. We're gonna be using a plugin. The plugin's called Gravity Forms. It's a plugin that I really like. I've been using it for many, many years. It does forms, but it also does much, much more. But anyway, that's enough looking at my face. Let's get on the computer and get this calculator set up. The site we're going to be creating the calculator for in this video is this one, it's dartpix.com. And I was doing some research around this site using Low Fruits, which is one of my favorite keyword research tools. I'll put a link up now to a video I did on it a while back and you'll find a link to the tool in the description of this video. It's an affiliate link. Thanks very much if you use it. But anyway, I spotted this uh, keyword, darts averages calculator and also Dart Average Calculator and Free Dart Average Calculator. So I think there's an opportunity there to create a calculator for the site. It's got a volume of 170 and there is a few weak spots, which means there's a good chance that we could rank if we create a decent bit of content, which is hopefully what we're gonna do right now. To create the calculator for the website, I'm gonna be using Gravity Forms, which is one of my favorite form plugins. I've been using it for many years now. It's been around a while and it's really flexible you know, from just doing a simple contact form through to multi-page forms and calculators, maybe order forms. You can do all sorts of things with this. Uh, I love it. It's fairly cheap as well. The basic plan comes in at 59 a year. But you do have an elite license for 259 and you get, you get a ton of stuff with that one. Again, you'll find a link to Gravity Forms along with all the other links in the description. And yeah, it's an affiliate link. Thanks very much if you use it. Of course, I only recommend tools and services that I use myself. So let's go back to the website. I've already got Gravity Forms installed. It's really easy, you just buy it, download it, install it, add your license key. Really simple. And I'm gonna create a new form. So I've got my G Forms up here, new form. My form title is of course, Darts Averages calculator, I don't think we need a description. And we're ready to start. But before we do, I need to know how to actually calculate a darts average. And I found this uh, on a competitor's site, dartsguide.net, which looks like it's running the Acabado film. Acabado? Acabado. Acabado theme from Income School. It's not a bad site, uh, but it's got the information here. Basically, darts averages are calculated by subtracting the score left from 501 and dividing that number by the number of darts thrown. So, fairly straightforward. So what we need to do first is um, create a field. The first field I'm gonna add is a number. So, uh, in fact, the only fields we're gonna be adding are numbers. So I'm just dragging that over. To add the fields, you just click them, drag them over, very easy. To change the settings, you just click on the little settings thing here. Let's give it a name. So the first one is score left. Double check, yep, 
Score left, and then we need number darts thrown. Perfect. So that's that one. I'm going to click off to bring this back. The number, bring that over. Click on the settings again. Darts thrown. Great. And finally, it's the calculation. So another number field, click on settings, your dart average is. And to make it a calculation field, we come down here, tick enable calculation, and we can add the formula in this box here. Now we want to insert the fields. They haven't appeared because I've just added them. So I think the best thing to do is to uh, save the form up here. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh this page. Now if we check here, there we go, our fields are there. So first thing is remembering my maths, I'm going to add some brackets. And it's going to be 501 take away, and then it's score left then a bracket, and then was it divide by darts thrown? Yeah, dividing the number, number of darts thrown. Okay, so then divide, and then darts thrown. What? That, I don't want it there, oh, let's put it there. It needs to go at the end here, that's better. Let's click validate formula. Appears to be valid. Let's see, let's save. Let's just click preview here. So my score left, oh, I don't know, 250. Had pretty good thing. And how many darts did I throw? Um, 12, is that possible? There we go. I think this probably needs to be rounded. It's a little bit long, but it seems to be working. I think <laughs> the calculation, I think is correct. But let's round this up um, so we can do that. If we go back to our form, uh, round it to, what should we say, two? I think two would be fine. Two decimal places. And let's just go preview. So my score left, let's say uh, pretty simple. Let's do, um, say that I threw three darts and each time I got a treble 20. So that would give me a score of 180. 180 from 501. Um, well, that's quite odd calculation. That give me a score left of 321. Darts thrown free, so that means my average has got to be 60. Hey! It works. Perfect. Then that would be 30. Yeah. If it, that. Okay, it's doing a rounding thing as well. Perfect. Perfect. So now we've got our form all done. We now need to create the content. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly embed this uh, form into a post. And then I'm also going to show you how I'm going to create the content. Of course, if you're just interested in the calculators, then you've probably got to the end of the video. But if you're interested in creating the content around the calculator, I'm going to be using Jasper AI software to help me. Um, then stick around. So I'm going to go new post. I'm going to call the post basically exactly what this keyword is, which is darts averages calculator. Then we'll add the form straight away. I'll just show you what it looks like on the page and then we'll put some text around it. So I'm going to go add block and do a search for gravity. There we go, gravity forms. Select my darts averages calculator. And I don't want the title or the description, so I'm going to untick these little ticky things and click update. And then if we view the post, here it is in all its glory. I don't know, 400, uh, seven darts. Perfect. In fact, looking at this, we don't really need the submit button because that then sends a message. So what we'll do is we'll just use a little bit of CSS to hide that button. So let's just go back. I'm gonna inspect. I'll put the uh, CSS that you need over on wpeagle.com. You'll find a link in the description. 
basically, I'm just going to inspect, see what this is down here. Click the plus. This should be fine. And I'm going to put display. None. There we go. It's gone. So CSS is basically this input hash g form underscore submit underscore button underscore free. And the free, I think, is the ID of the form. And that's pretty easy to find. I'll show you how to find the ID in a second. So I've just copied that code to my clipboard. I'm going to go to customize. So you'll find a link to the code so you can copy paste in the description and you do just need to change the number this number free to whatever ID your form is. I'll show you how to find the form ID right now. Let's just come out of here. Let's go into the dashboard and into uh, Gravity Forms, bring up the forms. And here you can see the ID and that one is free as you can. So let's have a, have a look. I need to get this post finished. I probably shouldn't have published it, but never mind. There we go, the submit button is gone. It's all good. Perfect. So let's create some text around the calculator. I'm going to be uh, using this competitor's article as inspiration. I'm also going to be using Jasper as well. So let's close a few of these little tabs down. And let's log into Jasper. By the way, Jasper is an AI writing tool, helps me create words. And here we go, we're in to the dashboard. So I want a new document, start from scratch. By the way, you'll find a link to Jasper in the description. It's an affiliate link, go check it out if you want to use it. Of course, you don't need to use Jasper, you can just write your own words using your own mind. But yeah, I'm not very good at writing words. So let's call it um, Darts Averages, if I can spell, Calculator. And then I'm going to tell Jarvis to write an intro paragraph. I press command enter there. This is perfect. Uh, I don't want that bit. Um, welcome to the to the dart picks.com. Darts average. Uh, let's go every score for a given set of dart throws. Simply enter in your total score which is not quite left right it's um score left isn't it perfect so let's copy this in let's click edit on this post Okay, add paragraph. I actually want this above the calculator, of course. And then what I'm gonna do is add a little heading here. Okay. Uh, but I think we need to kind of pad it out with a bit more info. Um, so let's get some inspiration. I'm going to kind of use this. Um, how to calculate your darts average. I guess darts is capital letters. I don't know. There we go. Change this to a heading. To calculate. Can't type today. Use the following formula. And it is, of course, That's wrong, that's wrong. It's 501 take away the 
if you've watched my videos before, you know I'll leave a lot of this stuff in because we're all just human. I think it's good to see how the workflow goes. It's not always perfect, of course. Uh, divided by darts thrown, perfect. And then I'm gonna bold this. I wanna bold the whole thing, please. There we go. I think I'm gonna center it. Like that. I'm gonna put that other one as well. Alternatively, you can I'm gonna put the other one in, why not? Which was uh divide five oh one by the number of darts thrown and then multiply them by three. Divided by perfect. So you've got a few little typos up here. Let's just fix them with Grammarly. Perfect. So what other info can we add? I think what we should do is get a few headings from Google. So I'm gonna, cause I don't wanna copy that article. So here's some good questions here. What is a good one dart average? I'm gonna use Jasper for this. So I'm gonna add that in as a heading here. I'm gonna make it a H2 and then I'm gonna see what Jasper comes up with. That's perfect. Let's copy the whole thing, in fact. I need the heading too. Let's see if that lines up with what the result is here. 30, 40 points, yeah. That's fine, I mean, we don't need to go into all this detail, maybe later. What is a free dart average? We'll take that. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just basically finding, uh, using Google, what people are searching for and then answering it using Jasper. I'm fact checking because Jasper can sometimes get the facts wrong. We'll take that out because he's kind of contradicting uh, himself. I don't know, I'm saying he, I don't know if Jasper is a he, it's just a piece of software at the end of the day, it doesn't really have a gender. Um, but Jasper sounds like a male name. Anyway, yeah, let's get rid of this. This is fine though. Okay. Then, I don't want this, this to be really long. I, I mean, because the main thing is, is the calculator at the end of the day in this bit of content. Let's just answer two or three more. What is the highest free dart average? I guess it would be. Ooh. Here we go. Okay, what is the highest free dart? Let's see what Jasper says for this. By Michael Van Gerwen, is that correct? I don't know. Um, you've always got to do your research. I don't. It says it's Phil Taylor. Hundred and ten ninety four. 114.05 for Michael Van Gerwen. I don't really know much about darts, to be fair. That fact is, is not correct. I'm going to see if we can do a rewrite on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the tools down the side here. I'm going to 
find the content improver, uh, turn a voice clear. Let's see what we get. Okay, so here are some options. This is fine, just needs a little bit of rewriting. We'll go with this one. Just check it is correct. Let's just add the detail, it's 107.79 and Rob Cross is 107.67. I don't want any of this stuff. There we go. Okay, now I'll probably expand this over time, but for now, I'm happy. I'm gonna click update. Let's view the post. The final thing we need to do is, um, I think actually I'm gonna center all that. Yeah, the final thing we need to create is the featured image. So for that, I'm gonna use Canva. My favorite, find a link to Canva in the description. Go and check it out if you haven't got it already, but I'm sure you have. I'm gonna create a new design, 1200 by 600. And basically I just need a picture of some darts and then a picture of a calculator, I'm thinking. So let's do a search in here for darts. And Find one that looks good. This is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna add a calculator here. So let's do a search for calculator. I want a photo. This, uh, this one might be good. It needs to be top down or this one maybe even better. Yep, that's great. I think I might just take Put it over the top of these darts here. So let's just do this, make it a bit bigger. There we go. Need a shadow, because it kind of looks like it's floating a little bit. Let's um, edit the image, drop a little shadow on it. Um, backdrop? No. The drop. We see it. Uh, angle, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. That's the one. If it needs a little more. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Perfect. Let's download this as a JPEG. I think I might need to click apply, do I? Apply my shadows. Is that good? There we go. So yeah, let's download this as a JPEG. Call it the darts average calculator. Always like to Name the featured image uh, the same as the, the post, the article title. So let's add that. I'm gonna come back in, edit the post. Come down here, click set featured image, then upload files, then select files. Perfect, set featured image. And then yeah, as I said, I'm gonna center this. I think that'll look nicer. Give me a center on that. Center on that, let's fix this typo. Can I not, I can't fix the typo now, it's not to the, what's up with that? Alternatively, needs a comma, fair enough, needs a comma. Let's center that again, and then update, and then I think we are finished. Looking good. There's our calculator. There's this, there's that, there's that. There we go. So I may expand it uh, in the future, but you get the idea. That's how I put together content 
This content hopefully is gonna be really useful to people and they're gonna to wanna to keep coming back and using it. That brings us to the end of this video. How did you get on? Did you create a fantastic calculator? If you did, why not share it below in the comments? I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. I do a couple of live streams every single week. I'd love to see you there. Make sure you don't miss out by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell. That way you should get a notification when I do go live and also when I upload a new video. If this tutorial helps you out in any way, please click the like button, that really does help me out. But until next time, good luck with your sights. Bye for now.